Fifteen thousand years ago, Shiva, who was the first yogi, that's why we call him the Adi yogi, the first yogi. So Shiva, wherever, even in a calendar picture, he's sitting like a yogi, isn't it? True, hundred percent. It's just that we've forgotten. Mm. We remember somebody only because of the contributions they've made to their… our lives. Otherwise, why would we remember him? So many other people would have lived in this fifteen thousand years, we don't remember them. Mm. We remember that one man, why? Because of his contribution. What is his contribution? His contribution is more relevant now than ever before in the history of humanity because he is the only one at that time and since then also you can't say anybody has gone that profoundly. He is somebody who gave methods for human transformation, mm. not scriptures, not teachings, not philosophies, not belief systems, not ideologies, methods, technologies for well-being. One hundred and twelve ways he unfolded. He said, within this human system, there are hundred and twelve possibilities. Because everything that you experience right now, you see me because your eyes are working. You hear me because your ears are working. Everything is happening only the way the human system is functioning, isn't it? True. If this two don't, don't work, you don't know what I'm saying, all right? Okay. Everything in your whole life, Yourself, your family, your children, your this, your that, your television, everything you know only as your body tells you, isn't it? Um. Otherwise you don't know anything. If you become unconscious, if you fall asleep, you don't know what's happening. Simply world is absent, world disappeared, isn't it, in sleep? Mm -hmm. So because we understood this, he said there are one hundred and twelve ways within this body. There are only hundred and twelve ways. Mm -hmm. but if you go beyond the body, he said, as many ways as there are atoms in the existence. Mm. Because most people are in the body, hundred and twelve ways. It is to honor that we put up hundred and twelve feet tall statue of Adiyogi. Adiyogi is relevant to these times only. Mm. All these years, people did not have the intellect to approach their subjective well-being, mm. technologically or scientifically. They can only do it by believing. They could only do it… do it by being worshipful. So they worshipped Shiva. Mm. They just believed in him. They did not practice what he thought. You can come, many thousands and thousands of people are coming every day here as guests, taking selfies in front of Adiyogi and going. Mm. But a few people are picking up the methods and going. Mm. When they go home and use those methods, their lives will transform. Others will have a selfie to show. Maybe it's an inspiration for them, it's fine, but I'm saying transformation happens because you do something about yourself. Mm. So he gave hundred and twelve ways. Never in this fifteen thousand years there was a generation which could think for itself. In any village means there would be one person who thinks for everybody, mm. especially women, I'm telling you. See, just hundred, two hundred years ago in most parts of the world, not so much in India actually, in India, women could think for themselves. Mm. In most parts of the world, women were not allowed to think for themselves. Mm. Even if they said the right thing, the moment they see that they are thinking for themselves, they would be beaten, burnt alive. What are all these six and a half million women who were burnt as witches? They thought for themselves, they asked questions, that's it. Because women are not supposed to think for themselves. So in this twenty-first century, straight away, Fifty percent of the population has come into the thinking block. Hmm. I'm saying that's never happened before. So now people can think for themselves. We can always debate, are they thinking right, thinking wrong? It doesn't matter whether thinking right or wrong, they're thinking for themselves. See, the moment you think, the nature of thought is such, it has to progress step by step. Mm -hmm. You can't think, I'm a tree and run around. Because mm. if you're a tree, you must stand here, <laughs> right? You must grow fruits. Mm. So, <laughs> you cannot think absolutely illogically. Mm. If two people are talking, I may think you are illogical, mm. but in your mind whatever you are saying sounds perfectly logical, that's why you are saying it, isn't it? Because this is the nature of thought, it is progressive, it goes in a cycle of step by step. You can't simply go here, here, here. That means people think you've lost your mind, isn't it? Mm. So essentially thought is a certain science or a certain technology by itself because it goes from one process to another, another process to another. This is the first time a huge population is thinking for themselves. So this is the first generation 
that is really open to Adiyogi.